Hey y'all, it's your girl Chastity J and I'm back with another message from God. So y'all, quick story time. I was going to um, start a support group. So starting a uh, support group online, I uh, wanted to do one for women and then um, first start off with uh, one for women and then eventually do one for men. So I had prayed on it. I was like, God, this is something I want to do, but is this something you want me to do? And God was like, no. And you know, I, I kind of, I felt some type of way because I was like, but Jesus, why? Why not? Like this is, um, you know, something I wanted to start doing um, completely free because um, I see that there's a need. And especially since, as you guys know, I am in school to become a therapist. So I'll be finishing up soon. And I wanted, I just felt like this was a huge need, something that I could see uh, my purpose and my gifts and my tools um, being utilized in God's kingdom Um to help um, be a vessel to his children in another way, not only just on these platforms, but in another um, arena in another way. So God told me no, and I was like, okay, well, can I at least, I asked him about something else that um, I'm planning to start, which is gonna be my podcast. I was like, can I at least start my podcast? He was like, yes, you could do that, but uh, no, no support groups. And I'm like, okay, guy, like, whatever, <laughs> you know, he's like, not right now. So, um, this past weekend, I went to a singles conference at this church. And I believe when some things come in threes, that it is a message from God or confirmation from God. And since I've been out here, I haven't really found a church home. I've been going to a church, uh, one church. Um, so when I first, um, got out here and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to church. I put in uh, churches near me on Google and one specific church came up and it wasn't the closest. Um, and I remember seeing it in a dream. So I was like, okay, God wants me to go there. And then for confirmation, what I was studying about the night before in my Bible is exactly what the pastor preached about. So it was confirmation. I was like, okay, God wanted me to be there. Um, church is great. Don't get me wrong. It's something completely different from uh, what I'm what I'm used to. Like I grew up in a Baptist church, and then um, you know I ended up going to a non denominational church in Houston, the Fountain of Praise. That is my church home. Um, sorry, y'all, Roxy over there coughing and stuff. But it's completely different. Um, you know, it's more of like a Caucasian church. Um, but I enjoyed it. Definitely great experience, um, being there, uh, which makes, um, reminded me about, uh, when I went to see Country Wayne, uh, the comedian a couple weeks ago, his opener was like, if you have a feeling down and you need a pick me up and you want to smile, go to a white church because I promise you they are going to make you smile because they will praise God and worship and have no care in the world, y'all. And that is so true. I honestly love that church and it's such a great experience and it's very diverse. But this besides besides the point in this message, but I just want to put that out there. But um, so I have been hearing about this church called One Community. I've seen it plenty of times and I was like, oh, okay, uh, one day I'm going to check it out. My hairstylist, she told me she goes there. She loves it. This was all in one week. Uh, I meet um, some women from Facebook and we have brunch and one of the ladies, she was telling me that's her church. She loves it. It's great. Then a lady that I met at my church, she told me she goes to the women's Bible study there. And so that was three people telling me about this church. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go check it out. Just so happened I was driving by um, the day before and saw they were having a singles conference. And I'm like, okay, well, let me go check out their singles conference. I registered and it was phenomenal, y'all. It was so great, um, so beneficial for me and where I am um, in my season of singleness um, in confirmation of me, of God removing me out of isolation and just so many gems were dropped at this conference. And I'm so grateful, so, so, so grateful that God planted me there. Um, it was so fruitful and so much knowledge and just allowed me to appreciate my single season even more and just show God so much more gratitude for the season that I'm in. 
So I went to the singles conference. It was Friday and Saturday. And I was like, I want to check out a, a Sunday service. Um, since the conference was mind blowing, let me check out an actual service. So I went to church yesterday. And uh, well, depending on when you're watching this, it was um, Sunday, April 30th. I went to church. Um, the service was amazing. The only thing I would say was a little uh, crazy was the parking um, parking and uh, leaving. Like, you probably going to send a little traffic, a good 10 to 15 minutes of traffic to get out the parking lot or to head home, which wasn't an issue for me. Um, and I had to park a little far because I was late. Yes, I was late, unfortunately. Um, but I just said in the future, I'm not going to wear heels to church. I'm not gonna do it especially if I know I'm running late <laughs> I'm gonna wear some tinnies or some sandals or something but um so but church was so great it was just so good I was like I felt at home and I felt like I wanted to get involved and be involved at the church so they talked about um young adult bible study um at the singles conference and at church yesterday and I was like okay Young Adult Bible Study was today, Monday, May 1st, and I'm like, I'm going to go and check it out. I was kind of, um, I was like, uh, should I go? I'm, I'm going to miss my evening walk, you know, my routine and stuff. Um, but I was like, no, I'm going to go ahead and go. Young Adult Bible Study was great. So after Bible Study, they do small groups, put everybody in these smaller groups, and you basically discuss um, the sermon that was preached at Bible Study and just kind of have some intimate time with uh, your brothers and sisters in Christ. So we're in a, uh, our breakout session, which I was kind of hesitant. I was like, ugh. Do I want to leave or do I want to stay? And God kept telling me in that moment, he said, stay. And I was like, all right, God, I'm going to stay. We're discussing things, um, you know, that we learned. And I personally was like, you know, not to be boastful. Um, we talked about the three Ps. Um, and I'm like, not to be boastful. But I personally have... Um, been doing really good uh, where I am in my walk and in my journey um, with God. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get stuff. It was the five. I said the three P's. I meant the, the five P's to protect your private world because the sermon was over verified by like um, the crutch of a double life. And so y'all know like verified how you're verified on social media and stuff. But the five P's, uh, the five P's to protect your private world and the five P's were, um, I should have just brought the journal over here. Uh, peace, purpose, um, uh, peace, per purpose, prayer, present, presence, um, and purity. So it's presence, prayer, purity, peace, and purpose. So I was like, yeah, me personally, I've been doing really great in all of those areas. I went down the line, uh, and this is in a small group, um, and expressed to everybody um, how I've been doing good in each area. And, and ultimately, you, you know, I was like, once I fully surrendered to God and just truly surrendered to him, I've been able to experience like the true peace, like God's peace surpasses <laughs> everything. I'm like, I've never experienced peace. And you know how people always talk about, it. you You know, in a church, especially in like a Baptist church, they always say God, God's peace surpasses everything. I never truly understood that until I fully committed and gave my life to Christ. So I'm like, I'm actually experiencing that. And it is so beautiful. It's so amazing. So I went down the line and then I told them, you know, as far as my purpose, becoming a therapist and, um, you know, being consistent in my um, Christian content and encouragement and just being a vessel, like just being obedient to God. And so one of the small group leaders, she's like, I need to talk to you at the end of this. Um, both of the small group leaders came up to me and they were like, we, uh, we need, we need an apprentice for small groups. Um, eventually you'll be leading your own. Are you, is this something you're interested in? And I didn't even get a chance to answer. God answered for me. He said, yep. He was like, yep, she surely is. I was like, yeah, I am. And I was so excited y'all. And on my way home, 
they were um god was like this is why i told you to wait this is why i told you no to not start the small groups that you wanted to start um on on social media this is exactly why but your obedience is about to pay off big time y'all i hope y'all were using your spiritual ears and listening to everything i just said God will tell you no about certain things because what God has planned for you is bigger than your plans. Not only am I going to be having my own small group at church, it's basically going to be like a mentorship program. So a lot of, you know, young adults uh, for this church is 18 to 35. So a range of women, they're like, you know, you just basically be a vessel, uh, be someone that they can confide in, be someone that um, you can give them um, suggestions and advice and stuff and just be present with them. Like you're basically like a, a role model and a mentor. So I was so grateful and honored because this is the first time y'all, these people have met me. They do not know me. And I was like, that's why God wanted me to go to Bible study. This is why God led me to this church. And this is why God told me no about doing what I wanted to do and what I thought um, I should do. Y'all, more of the story, be obedient to God. Trust him. If he tells you no about certain things and that's for anything, that's for like a job, a business, a man, a woman, a car, you know, a house, whatever it is that he tells you no about is because he has something bigger and better planned for you. Something that is amazing. Something that's going to surpass your expectations and your plans. So y'all, please just take, take this word back to God. Be obedient to God. I hope you're using your spiritual ears and listening to whatever it is that he wanted you to get out of this word. But just be obedient, y'all. Like, God is just so amazing. I'm just, like, on a high. I'm like, like, I don't have to get up early in the morning at, like, 430. But I am on a high because I'm like, God, that's why you told me no. And I'm so grateful and appreciative. I was like, because you had bigger and better plans. I was going to do something small online. I was going to start with a group of like five women, random women um, online that maybe I found on TikTok or Facebook or Instagram online virtual. And I'm a believer that you don't get the same experience virtually as you do in, per in person. So I was going to do something like that so small and, you know, who knows when I was going to actually start it because I could say this is what I'm starting, but I'm going to put so much more thought into it of trying to get it up and running and started versus something that's already implemented and planned out and I'm just going to be a vessel and just be used. God is going to speak through me to them. So, yeah, y'all, take everything back to God. Get confirmation. If he tells you no about that job, about that business, about that man, about that woman, about that move that you want to make, and he's telling you no, it's because he has something bigger and better planned for you. You just need to be obedient, and you need to trust him. Trust his word. Trust that he's not telling you no just to be mean to you. He's protecting you and he's trying to bless you with more than you could have ever imagined. So just be obedient, y'all. As always, take this message back to God and ask him how does it apply to you in your life and whatever it is that you're probably planning to do or thinking about doing. Get his, um, get his direction and instruction before you do it and just listen to him. If he tell you go, go. If he tell you stay, stay. If he tell you yes, or no, you know, just listen to whatever he tells you. But I pray you guys have an amazing day tomorrow. Tomorrow is Turn Up Tuesday. Um, in my mind, I ain't going to turn up. But um, I just feel like after you have Monday, you know, Monday is like, it's Monday. You're still kind of tired from the weekend. But Tuesday is like where your week really start. Like, it's like Turn Up Tuesday. Turn a week up. We about to have a great week. So I pray that um, everyone that is listening to this word, you know, whenever you listen to this word, I pray that you get everything out of it that God wanted you to hear. I pray that you uh, be obedient to God and his word. 
and just trust him fully and wholeheartedly. I pray that you have an amazing week. I pray that it's phenomenal, that it is a productive week, but a stress-free week. And that um, God just guides your footsteps. He blesses you beyond your wildest dreams and just give you everything that he has planned for you um, and that your heart desire that's aligned with his vision for your life. I pray that you guys receive this word and just have an amazing night. And special shout out and thank you to all of my subscribers, new subscribers, seasoned subscribers, supporters, anyone that pours into me prayers, um, monetary donations, just any and everything. Um, just a like is something I truly appreciate. So I thank you guys and um, I pray that y'all just have a great night. Bye y'all.